Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ayyul habati fillah from some of the fawaid or benefits from the ulama of ahl sunnah comes some fawaid referring to what is not from salafiyah meaning what is not a part of the da'wah to ahl sunnah and that are mistakes that some individuals fall into and this comes from a series of statements from Sheikh Muhammad Umar Salim Bazmul hafizallah ta'ala one of our mashayikh from the mashayikh of ahl sunnah in Mecca who resides in Mecca and is a professor there and the first thing he mentioned he said taking knowledge from just anyone without first looking at their situation and dealing with the sunna is not from the methodology of the salaf it used to be said indeed this knowledge is religion so look at who you take your religion from and this is a statement of ibn sirin rahimahullah ta'ala one of the tabi'in and it shows us ahabat fillah or one of the itba'a tabi'in that the importance of knowing who who you take your knowledge from that not to just take knowledge from anyone because there are many who call to the hellfire and call to bid'ah and innovation the second thing he mentioned treating the mistakes of the people of the sunnah like the mistakes of the people of innovation is not from the methodology of the salaf for verily every son of adam is prone to many mistakes the methodology of a man is to be looked at and his mistake is dealt with upon that basis so this is also imperative and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said kull ibn adam khata wa khayran khata'in tawabun that all the children of adam make mistakes and the best of those who sin are those who repent so ahl sunnah is balanced and they do not judge others from ahl sunnah on the same scale that they judge the people of innovation and desires the third thing partisanship or hisbi and making pacts and secret gathering in exclusion to the rest of the people is not from the methodology of the salaf it has been reported that whenever you see those who congregate in the masjid in exclusion to the people then know that they are on misguidance the fourth thing it is not from the methodology of the salaf to incite the people against the rulers and instigate them to rebel demonstrate revolt or publicly criticize them their ministers or appointees and this shows us that ahl sunnah is free from the madhab of the khawarij and the takfiriyin and the khawarij the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said hum kilab an-nar that they are the dogs of the hellfire the fifth thing it is not from the methodology of the salaf to abandon the seeking of mandatory knowledge and neglect seeking recommended knowledge so ahl sunnah strives to gain ilm nafiya beneficial knowledge and they learn the wajib before the mustahabbat they learn those things which are obligations upon them in order to practice their religion and come closer to allah before they learn those other aspects those more intricate sciences the sixth thing it is not from the methodology of the salaf to attack the scholars speak against them to disavow their knowledge in books and to call to burning destroying and not reference in them due to a mistake they fell into so ahl sunnah is merciful with one another and with regards to their mistakes correcting one another and advising one another the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said ad-din al-nasiha the religion is sincere advice and another important thing he mentioned the seventh thing he said blind allegiance to opinions and overstating them is not from the methodology of the salaf they used to say my view is correct and can possibly be wrong and what my opponent is upon is wrong but may possibly be right so the salaf were humble in that they didn't force people to take their view their opinion but they called to the haq and if they were incorrect then they corrected themselves but it is not a matter of his be of calling to to take from only uh your statement or statements so and so statement 
But instead, Ahl Sunnah calls to the Haq and accepts the Haq. The eighth thing is animosity on account of mere occurrence of differing is not from the methodology of the Salaf. They used to differentiate in that regard regarding to a man's circumstance and the reality of the issue. Differing along with a pure intention doesn't ruin the love in any case. So having al-wala wal-bara, having bara from your brothers just because you differ with them in uh, some issue or, or something, that this is, is not the way uh, to just ru rush to boycott your brother and uh, remove yourself from from the people of Khair and not call one another and, and advise one another. The ninth thing he mentioned, it isn't from the methodology of the Salaf to restrict the religion in one issue, such as whoever agrees with me is Salafi and whoever disagrees with me isn't Salafi. Salafia is a methodology, not a single issue. The tenth thing, blind following and blind allegiance without evidence is not from the methodology of the Salaf. The eleventh, it is not from the methodology of the Salaf to revile the Sahaba, even just one of them. And the twelfth thing he mentioned, involving one. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, La tusubba ashabi. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Do not curse my companions. So reviling the companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, is not from the madhab of the salaf, even if it was just one of them. So beware ahla zandaka and the rathada and the shia and anyone who criticizes the sahaba to rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. The twelfth thing the shaykh mentioned was involving oneself in dwelling in the fitna is not the methodology of the Salaf, rather they avoided and warned against it. So the Salaf warned against fitna. So if you find yourself indulging in fitna, what did this one say? What's the latest statement about this? How can we uh, know the latest fitna? How can I put my two cents in? Should I speak about this one? Should I speak about this one? This is not from the madhab of the Salaf to indulge in fitna, but rather it's to adhere to the haq and do those things which glorify the haq and glorify Allah Azza wa Jal and bring people closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and warn them away from fitna. The 13th, the 13th uh, thing the Sheikh mentioned or point the Sheikh mentioned, he said, falling into division, differing and mutual hatred is not from the methodology of the Salaf. Their slogan was, do not hate one another and do not abandon one another and be brothers, O slaves of Allah. And this comes from a hadith of the Prophet wasallam, where he said, The Prophet wasallam said, do not spy upon another. Iyakum uh, wa Beware of, uh, beware of, 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 of suspicion. For in the one actable hadith, because very suspicion is from the worst of speech, and do not become envious of one another, and do not uh, backbite one another, and do not turn your backs on one another, and cut one another off, and all the other things the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, and do not spy upon one another. We find some of our brothers and sisters, they busy themselves searching for the mistakes of their brothers and sisters. We watched his video and we combed through all of his videos to find such and such mistake. In his book, he said this, that doesn't mean that we don't rud ahl bid'ah, but we're talking about how we deal with one another, how we deal with ahl sunnah. And this is what the sheikh intends, as it is clear from all of his statements here, that he's talking about ahl sunnah, dealing with ahl sunnah. And then he mentioned... The 14th thing or point, innovation and invention is not from the methodology of the Salaf. Their slogan was follow and do not innovate for you have been sufficed and the affair uh, of old is binding upon you. Meaning the method of the Salaf is binding upon us. Do not fall into differing and do not commit bid'ah. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, uh, said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, مَنْ أَحْتَثَ فِي أَمْرِنَا هَذَا مَا لَيْسَ مِنْ وَفُورَدْ uh, whoever innovates in this fair of ours will have it rejected. The 15th point, knowing the truth because of men is not from the methodology of the Salaf, such as that anything that came from so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so must be true. Rather, the slogan was, know the truth and you will know its people. Know the truth and you will be from its people. The 16th point, 
seeking popularity and elevation over people is not from the methodology of the Salaf. For verily, loving to be manifested breaks the backs of people. And when a youth is given leadership, he misses out on abundant goodness. Subhanallah. Wa iyadin billah min thalika. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all from those things which displeases Allah and from a lack of ikhlas with the battle of sunnah. The Sheikh then mentioned the 17th point. Being concerned with purely intellectual sciences is not from the methodology of the Salaf. The Sheikh mentioned being concerned with purely intellectual sciences is not from the methodology of the Salaf. Their knowledge was only uh, what Allah said and what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and what the Sahaba said. Qala Allah, qala Rasul, wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, wa qala Sahaba, radiyallahu ta'anu majma'in. And the 18th point the Shaykh mentioned, he said, it is not from the methodology of the Salaf to be silent from advising regarding Allah, His Messenger, His Book, the rulers of the Muslims, and their masses. And this comes from the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Adina Nasiha, Adina Nasiha, Adina Nasiha. Liman Kala Lilahi Wali Kitabihi Wali Rasulihi Wali Ahimatu Muslimin wa Ammatihim Kamakala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then the Sheikh said the nineteenth point he mentioned over inclination to the world in leaving off working for the hereafter is not from the methodology of the Salaf. Uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said a dunya sijinu mu'min wa jinnatul kafir that this life is the prison of the believer and the paradise of the disbeliever and the final piece of toji hat that the sheikh mentioned which is the 20th point and he says it is not from the methodology of the salaf to utilize every verse in hadith as evidence until the verse is understood precisely and until the hadith is understood precisely. And that is imperative that we benefit from the advice of our ulama and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless and preserve the shaykh and bless and preserve the translator, the brother Umar Quinn. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and bless us, bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat, ala sunnat and nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم